of layer masking demystified using Topaz Studio 2. Today we're looking at color range uh, layer masking. This is going to be a very good and informative video for you, so without any further ado, let's get started. We're starting out with this color wheel image because it's going to really give you a better understanding of how this uh, color uh, range mask works, okay? And I'm going to show you two different approaches here. One approach is to pick a color that I want to add a filter effect to. And the second approach is going to be uh, find a color that I want to subtract a filter effect from. The first method is find a color I want to add an effect to. So follow me on this procedure here, okay? We're going to come up here to add filter. I'm going to use the color range um, filter just like I did in the luminosity mask because it's going to be the best way of showing how this works. Now, what I'm showing here can work with any filter inside of Topaz Studio too, but the color range, or I'm sorry, the uh, color overlay uh, filter is going to be best to explain how this works. Okay, so let's come here and click color overlay. I'm going to go ahead and take its opacity and take it the whole way up full. I'm going to leave it on white. Last time I used magenta, but being that I'm working with color, uh, I'm, going to use, I'm going to use white because it'll, it'll make more sense. And you'll see here in a second. Okay. Secondly, now we're going to come up to the layer mask. So we're going to click on the layer mask. And what we want to do is first step for the first method I'm showing you is how to apply a, a filter to a certain color. What we need to do, and this is very important, is right click the mask and invert it. That puts a black hide all layer mask. Okay. Secondly, come and click on color for the color range mask tool. All right. And thirdly, you need to take the transparency slider and move it the whole way to the right, which puts a, uh, this uh, swatch right here turns white, meaning it's a reveal all white and it's at 1.00, very important, okay? Now, let's come to the range slider right here and I'm gonna take this range slider, move it the whole way to the left and watch what happens here. See this white area right here, this little cone shape right here? That's the area that the white overlay is getting applied to the image, okay? And that white zone right there. And you see it right there on the image. See the white added over top of this yellow? Now watch this hue slider right here. You notice you have red, yellow, green, blues, pinks, all the colors, uh, all the hues of all the color is right in here. So watch this. Watch this white cone right here and also watch this white overlay, the filter that's being added to this image here. When I start to drag this hue, watch how it moves. See how it moves through all the colors? And look at both areas, the image, and also look at the mask itself. Okay, now I'll drag it back the opposite way. And you can see it moving around. So you could pick your color that you want to add the filter to by just dragging this hue slider here. Or else, see the eyedropper tool right here? You could just click on the color you want to add it to. So if I want to add white to the red, I'll just click on red. See? If I want to add white to blue, I click on blue. Pretty cool, right? If I want it to go to green, I click on green. Now, here's how you fine-tune it. If that was too strong, that color overlay, or that could have been like a detail filter, or it could have been like a texture that you wanted just to apply to the certain, certain colors of the image, okay? But right now I'm using color overlay, so I have white right there. But if I thought that was too strong, I could take the transparency and start to move it to the left and watch how it becomes weaker and weaker and weaker. And watch how this color changes from white to grays and then eventually turns to black, which is a hide all. Now watch when I drag it through the right, and you might have to watch this video a few times to really understand what's going on here. But once you grasp it, you'll say, ha ha, this is powerful, Dave. Thanks for showing me this. So here we go. So I'm going to take the whole way to the right, and there's that full effect right there. Now I can also change the range of the effect. Right now it's the whole way to the left, so it's at the most narrow range it can be at. But watch when I start to drag it to the right. Watch this widen and watch this white widen out here. Isn't that cool? Or I can narrow it. So we're going to use the range tool for fine tuning and we're going to use the transparency tool for fine tuning. And we're going to use either the eyedropper tool to select to select the color we want to add the effect to or we're going to use the hue slider to drag it onto the hue color that we want. I like the eyedropper tool which is really nice so I can just click on my image and say I want that effect right there. And then I might say I want the range a little wider and I want the transparency a little bit left. And once I'm happy with an adjustment, I'm going to click apply. And once I click apply, I can use any of these other masking tools on, on this mask as well if I wanted to. 
In most cases, you might just be satisfied with just the uh, color range mask. But if you needed to further refine it, you could use these other tools, okay? And uh, next, I'm going to show it to you on an actual um, image so you can see how it works. But that is how we add it to a certain color. Now let's try what we've learned on an actual photograph. So let's come up here to add filter and let's get a uh, let's get a precision detail filter here. And uh, what I want to do is just add precision detail, add extra detail to this orange swatch right here. Okay, just to give you an idea how this would work in an actual uh, image. So let's go ahead and take our small details. Let's bump it up a good bit here. Let's take our uh, medium details bump those up and let's see what happens with our large details yeah let's take our large details up a little bit okay so now we're going to come up to the layer mask we'll click on the layer mask and uh, we're going to right click the layer mask to invert it so it turns to a black hide all layer mask now we're going to click on color and uh, let's see here we're going to take our transparency and slide it the whole way to the right and now we have the eyedropper tool here right so we can click on this orange color right here and let's take our range and pull it back okay so now we pull it back a good bit right here just so we just get that particular uh, color showing through right there and right there it is now we can go ahead and click apply and remember what I told you before after we click apply we can use any of these other tools and continue to refine the mask so we can come here and get the brush tool and let's take the transparency the whole way to black and let's just let's just paint over like these areas in here that are that are showing through here it's a little hard because you don't I wish you could see the actual layer mask through here, but you don't. And down in this area right in here. Okay, and that's good enough. Okay, and now let's go back up to precision detail here. And let's click on the eyeball. Here's the before and after. Okay, so again, here's the before. No detail there. Well, there's detail, but it's very mild. And now when I click the eye, see all that detail and with the color range mask we've isolated it uh, just to that particular color and that's just how easy it is now you could go ahead and uh, let's uh, add another filter here let's add a uh, let's say a mm, let's get a brightness uh, basic adjustment uh, filter here okay let's turn the saturation up and what if we wanted to just bring the saturation up on this uh, green color right here, okay? So let's really pull that saturation up. Again, let's go to the mask icon, click it, right click on the mask to uh, invert it. Puts a black hide all layer mask and then we're going to go and get the color uh, masking tool. And this time let's pull our range the whole way down and don't forget to take your transparency and move it the whole way to the right and all we have to do is click on this color and it's automatically as you can see the hue is already right around green now i could just slide this hue slider like this if i wanted to or i could just come over and click on this color right here and then we can broaden out the range a little bit and be careful see if you go too far you'll start pulling other colors in but we can fine tune it with that and click apply and just like that, we've added that extra green on there. Now let's uh, click the toggle here. So there's a before and there's the after. But see how nice that uh, uh, color masking tool works? It's just that simple. Now I'm going to show you how to use the color range masking tool to subtract a filter effect from a certain color. Okay, so let's come up here to add filter. Let's use that color overlay filter again. This time I'm not going to take the opacity the whole way up. I'm just going to take it up about halfway like this so we can still see some of this color show, uh, showing through here, okay? And uh, so let's come up here to the uh, filter or the layer mask icon and give it a click. And let's click on our uh, color uh, range masking tool. This time I'm not going to invert this, so let's just click on the color range masking tool here, okay? And let's find a color that we want to remove the white from. Now let's take our 
range and bump it in the whole way to the left here. Okay, and let's say we want to remove it from uh, yellow. So if I click on yellow, it's removed from yellow. And you can see the black right over yellow there. Say I want to remove the white uh, color overlay from red, I click on red. You can see it got removed there. If I'm going to remove it from the blue colors right here, I remove it. And you can see it puts a black hide all um, color over the layer mask right there. Now if I come over to green right here, I can remove it from green. But what if I said I didn't want to quite take it the whole way off of green? Say it was like a, a texture or something like that. So I could come and um, take this transparency slider and start to bump it to the right. And as I do, I'll reveal some of that white overlay through onto that green there. You see that right there? Or I could also take the range and broaden that range out. Okay, and remove it from more colors. So that's the way that works. Okay. So again, we could, and then we could take the hue and move that hue all around to any of the colors that we want to remove it from. So remember now we're removing this overlay from certain colors. So again, if I want to remove it from the blue colors over here, I just click on blue, right? Like that. And then I could take my transparency. Let's move it the whole way to the uh, left here. So that turns black and that's a hide all. So you see my blue is pure and it's showing through. But again, if I want to add a little bit of, of the white overlay to that, I can move this transparency a little bit to the right. And that's the way that works. Now we're going to work on a uh, photograph and see, see how we can utilize it there. Now we're working with an actual photograph and I'm going to use the color range tool to remove an effect from a certain color of the image. Okay. So let's come up here to add filter. Let's use something different this time. Let's use the uh, precision detail filter. And what I want to do is kind of soften this background here. Now my background is blue and my model is in orange here. Okay. So this would be a really good application for the color range masking tool. So let's, uh, we're on overall here on detail. So I'm just going to take my medium detail and I'm going to drag it the whole way to the left, which is going to kind of put a nice soft glow over the whole image, which looks really nice. Okay. But I don't want it on the model. Okay. And right now it's on everything. So if I le left click the mouse, you can see it's on everything. So if I don't want it on the model, all I need to do is come up to the uh, layer mask icon, give it a click. Nothing happens yet. We have a white uh, reveal all layer mask. I'm going to click on uh, color for color range here. And I'm not going to invert it or do anything. It's set for this color right here around like a yellow color. But if I don't want it on my model, uh, for instance, uh, I would just click on an orange color in the model, like, like say like right here. So that's going to keep the effect off the model. If I wanted my model to be blurry and my background not to be blurry, I would click on the background to take the effect, effect off the background. And now it would make my model a little on the softer side. So let's left click here and you'll see before and after. See how the model looks a little bit softer? Okay, but I want to, in my case, I want to keep it off the model, but keep it on the background. So let me click on, again, let's click on her dress here, this orange color in her dress. Let's just pick right here. And as you can see, that removes it from her. Now, if I take this range slider and move it to the left, it'll narrow that range down, okay? So it's going to apply more of the effect to the background. You can see the background's getting lighter. But remember, this effect is being applied to oranges, or is not being applied to oranges, I should say. It's being removed from oranges, and that's why you can see the model here and the mask is black, okay? So as I move this range to the left, it's making that a little more narrower, and it's, you can see my background is getting lighter. But look at that nice dreamy effect in the background, but it's not on the model. So let's left click on the canvas here. So here's the before and here's the after. So there's a little bit of it on my model's face here and a little bit on her clothes here, just a little bit. But again, I could use this range just to move it a little bit to the right and encompass a little more of her. So that'll take more off. So we can fine tune with this just like so. And right there looks really nice. Now let me left click again. So before and after. So my model is nice and clear and my background is nice and misty. So it's pretty cool. And that's how that works. It's not that hard to do. So watch this video a couple times, two or three times, and you'll get the hang of it. Well, there it is, the color range masking tool. You can use it to either 
remove an effect from a certain color or add an effect to a certain color of your image. Really powerful, a great way of uh, layer masking your images and giving you beautiful, fantastic results. I love these, uh, these masking capabilities that Topaz Studio 2 gives us. They are very advanced and well uh, worth learning. So you may want to watch this video uh, two or three times to really get the hang of it and start uh, utilizing it in your workflow. And I'm sure you're going to come to love these capabilities with layer masking inside of uh, Topaz Studio Topaz Studio too. Hey, if you enjoyed this video today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click the bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it.